Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Arctic, and today we're going to be building, yeah, that's right, a super speedway in the nether. I hope you guys are ready. So today is going to be kind of a crazy day. Um, we're going to go ahead and, you know, the kind of nether portal thing that we had been working on previously um, to be able to travel pretty fast back and forth. Now, we do have some fast boots, but I think we could travel incredibly fast if we had some ice and if we had some kind of silk touch. Um, I'm almost positive we have silk touch uh, somewhere. Or we can just make it. It requires some gas tears. We do have some gas tears, so we could probably just make um, make that enchant and probably throw it on one of our picks. Now, this pick is probably going to have one of the highest durabilities. So it'd be best to get that on a pick that is going to have a pretty high durability. Um, how many gas tears... Do I have I have the just the right amount. Wow, perfect. Uh, now, do we have Silk Touch? Here. I do have Silk Touch, so I don't even have to make it. Uh, we have a Silk Touch right here. Perfect. So I'll save these gas tears for something more important. I'm almost positive something else will come up. So, we should be able to take that and add this. Well, actually, this has smelting on it, so it probably will not work on this pick. But we can make a diamond pick. Like a possibly a new diamond pick, maybe not. <laughs> we have this one with fortune and efficiency. Uh, the durability is pretty low on that guy. We do have some diamonds to possibly repair it with, so I can repair it. Um, and let's add this to it, right? Or can we not? Well, we probably can do that. Boy, oh boy, not cool, not cool. All right, so I am going to have to make, uh, I guess, throw some more diamonds in to get those produced. Okay. Well, if we have to do that, uh, let's see how many creeper oysters we have. I haven't been really farming them too much, so that is sort of a thing. All right, let's take a look real quick. Uh, we get our iron. And then we'll go, we'll go ahead and we'll take this. And we'll get that sorted out. Uh, but we are going to find, hopefully, an ice biome sometime today. It's going to be pretty difficult because I've actually went quite a distance in this world. And an ice biome has just not showed up. So, yeah, that's that's, that's going to be a thing. All right, let's take a look at this real quick. I was just making sure this is a stoked recipe. And let's go ahead and throw those in there. And it's already stoked, so we should be good. All right, so I'll be back whenever those are done. So now that we can make a diamond pickaxe, let's go ahead and get this guy made. There we go. So we do have enough diamond. Um, and we're going to go ahead and enchant this thing. So that only, that'll get normal silk touch on it. And what do I want else? I mean, efficiency uh, would be nice, but I don't know how much I have in here. I don't know if I have any... Uh, how much efficiency do we have? We have efficiency 2. Worth, efficiency... Yeah, just efficiency two worth. That's okay. That'll be enough. I'll just throw efficiency two on here, right? There we go, efficiency two. And possibly unbreaking. Do I have any unbreaking? I don't have any unbreaking. That's okay. All we needed really is silk touch, though, because we're gonna. That's gonna be like the main thing as we get going here. But with that being said, <laughs> we're gonna have to get going. So I want to try a few things. So jumping off of here will allow me to fly. Can I use my glider? I don't think... Oh, it doesn't work while you have the elytra on. Cool. Okay. So, yeah. I'm going to head off in this direction. I'm going to keep going. Until I, uh, I guess, find an ice biome. Or find anything ice-related. Because I would love to get some packed ice. Or just ice in general. Um, I know I could probably make an ice farm in a, like, a... Uh, like a biome that's like way up in the sky um, or not a biome that's way up in the sky a, like a, a mountain that's way up in the sky but for right now I'm seriously I'm just trying to find uh, in somewhere that is ice oh boy I'm pretty sure this is ice yes we found ice wow it looks really good with shaders I've actually not had a chance to see what ice looks like with shaders on, but boy, is it very shiny. 
Like glass. Wow. Okay. That's kind of cool. All right, so we have our silk touch. I do want to see bed. Let's see if we have a bed. We can go ahead and take this and we'll, we'll place a bed down uh, because we need somewhere to sleep for the night. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and sleep. Should take just a second. And it'll be daytime. That way we can just go after this ice. Oh, wow. This looks really good. Um, I don't know... Oh, I think that's meant to be the Aurora? That's hilarious. Shaders completely ruined the Aurora. Um, but I guess if you're in an ice biome or ice type biome, um, the Aurora will show up. Okay, so we have Silk Touch. We can go after some of this stuff. Oh yeah, we're gonna need a lot of it, so... Oh boy. I would prefer like packed ice <laughs> if that was the case. Oh, that'd be so much nicer. I bet there is something like nearby that we could possibly gather ice from. I mean, I don't know, but this is kind of cool in itself. Like a really nice lush. Oh, well, there's a, is that a village or is that just, oh, it's a random house. Okay. I was about to say, there's just some kind of village out here. Oh, there's a uh, another portal. Wow, that's actually really convenient if this works. We could use this as a transportation system, possibly. So, like, we could go inside this nether, nether portal, find out where our other nether portal's at, and link them together. I kind of want to do that. I do have my book. Let me go ahead and mark this area so I can always come back here. Uh, we'll say portal done. And then we'll head in here and I'm going to, I'll meet you guys on the other side. Literally, this is where our portal's at right there is where our road is at. It literally spawned us right there. So we have another portal that is technically within arms, like <laughs> reach of uh, where we need to be. Wow. That is perfect. Um, let's set a point here. Uh, okay, it already automatically set one. So, we're good to go on that. Wow. Okay, so that's good to know. Um, I don't know if there's a way... Let me grab some cobblestone. I can probably just throw some cobblestone down in here while I'm in this direction. And that would link me up to that. Let me grab my wand. And, uh, yeah, that'll link right there. And, like, we have already transportation. Oh, that's super cool. So I'm going to go ahead and get this built up. And uh, we'll be back on our way looking for a potential packed ice glacier biome. And, uh, and hopefully we can find some of that packed ice. That notorious packed ice. Look at that aurora in the distance. Oh, so good, man. That is so, so good looking. Oh, man. What a good looking mod, man, that adds that. Oh. I just want to take it in. I just got to take it in for a moment. Ah, nice. All right. Oh, so so uh, let's go ahead and, <laughs> and finish off what we were doing. So I did find one of these temple things. Um, not looking forward to going in that. So I'm not going to bother with that. I do like how light goes through the snow blocks like that's so realistic and I love it okay but anyways I know it's really dark for you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and sleep through the night again I did find some I uh, like some mountains that were just made of ice but I didn't see any packed ice in them so we may have to just stick without having any packed ice for right now and figure out how that's gonna go I knew with just a little bit of persistence I would eventually find one. Oh, and I did it was literally in the same biome. I was like, man, I really hope I find this. I'm really wanting some packed ice. Oh boy. And it's my birthday now because we found packed ice. Perfect. Okay. So this is going to allow me to place this. I should be able to place packed ice in the nether. And it'll make for an incredibly fast travel. Uh, especially on a boat. 
Uh, I know I do have those pants of blinding speed, but that's the problem. They blind you. And I don't want to be blind in the nether. That sounds like such a bad idea, is to be blind. But I'm going to continue to break out as much as I can get of this. It's going to take a little bit of time. Um, but yeah, I'm going to break a bunch of this packed ice and take it all home with me. So I'll see you guys when I get back. So at this point, we should be just about ready to clear this all out. Oh boy. What, we have to worry about gas and stuff. But I'm gonna do my best to clear this out. By the way, this is all gonna convert this all into stone just because of how this pick is set up. Oh boy. That was a bad break. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna clear this all out. I do need to clear... I think I'm gonna leave this layer here. I'm, I'm still debating. I, I, actually, I want this open. So yeah, this whole layer has got to be cleared out. Look at this. We just turn... All this gets turned into brick. Oh, minus that ghost block. There we go. Yeah, this is all gonna get turned into bricks. Oh man, ghost blocks. Wonder how they keep... There we go. But yeah, this is gonna take not very long at all. And so I'm gonna end up converting all of this over and uh, I will see you guys whenever I get to the ice placing stage. All right, so my plan is to have packed ice go all along this side and then have walls like we do cobblestone walls. Uh, we can do those all along the sides with that. I need to test this out real quick first before I make a full judgment call here. And then we can have a gate right there. I'm not too worried about that. Our boat should stop. But let's go ahead and make a boat. Or a boat. We should have one. Potentially. I guess we don't. Okay, let's go ahead and make a boat. There we go. So we have a boat. And we should be able to place the boat down. Right? Will the boat let us place it down here? Okay. So, yes, we can use the boat. Okay, boat will not take corners. Okay, so let's figure out. Maybe we can just have it go straight. Of course, boats don't go very fast this direction. But it should work that way. It should go back and forth, allow us to go back and forth. We may have to figure something out. I don't know. I'm gonna, I, would, I just want to get a little bit further on this. And I'll see if... We can pick up some speed here, maybe. I don't know. And uh, I'll I'll route the uh, the bridge set up because I don't want to make this to make this you know really big and get it all the way to the very end, and then the whole thing just not work. So let's go ahead and get this set up. I'll just close it off on the end for testing. There we go. We can light up the edges. And just like that, we were ready to take off. Let's try this. Oh, okay, so the edges, the edges kind of leave us, so we can't really go that fast. I think that's what's happening. So, with that being the case, what we could potentially do, I guess, is just um, make all of the edges yeah, we'll have to clear out all the edges here. Which is perfectly fine. I'll just go ahead and I'll clear out all the sides real quick. And then we'll get this tested. I want to see if just removing the sides here make this faster. Because we can have it just a one pillar with, with the cobblestone walls. I think that would be just fine. Let's do the testing now. Oh yeah, that's way faster. And we can even turn around. Okay, too slippery. Awesome, that works. That works, guys, that works, that works. Okay, so I just have to be careful. So this is going to work. We're just gonna have a single section here of ice. And all I need to do uh, now is just remove all of the cobblestone. 
pretty simple. All right, so guys, I am super hyped about this. We, I got this giant bridge done. It's this giant packed ice bridge. Now this thing is actually pretty fast just with us on it. If you get to jumping and stuff. Um, but when you put a boat on this thing, it becomes incredibly fast. Um, and then we can also make it fast for ourselves if we placed a block above the top. So it was only a two wide gap, then we could just kind of jump. But I have it set up so we can get a dispenser out, place the boat, and away we go. And we can kind of just hang on. Oh. Oh, we do get kind of stuck there. That I might need to fix. Yeah, we just kind of hang on. And look how fast this is. This is crazy fast, guys. We do get hung up on these sections. Um, I think I may, I've already kind of figured out what I'm going to do there. Yeah, and then it'll slow us down whenever we hit down here. But we can turn around. We don't really have to focus either on, like, if we're up against the wall or whatever, it will kind of stop here. Um, this is this is an easy fix. This is an easy fix. All we got to do is back behind here, just break out the wall. And that will prevent that from happening. We'll just break out this wall. Super simple. I do notice sometimes this thing smelts, sometimes it doesn't smelt. I don't know why it does that every now and then. Yeah, now that'll prevent us from stopping, and then we'll hit this wall as well. And we'll just clear out all this. It's it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and clear this out. I'm actually gonna make it completely dark. I don't think there's gonna be any reason to leave it lit. Like, it shouldn't matter, to be honest. Like, it should be just fine leaving it unlit. Let me go ahead and get most of this cleared out. This is going to be the part that's going to take the longest. And I do want this. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish clearing the rest of the sound, and then we can try the whole stretch. All right, so this is complete. Let's go ahead and hop in the boat ride, and let's see how fast we go. Oh boy, this is super satisfying, and we go super fast. Oh, look at that, man. This is insanely fast in the travel. I've never set this up in vanilla, so I'm going to... Wow, in my vanilla series, this is going to be definitely a fast way of traveling. Wow, that is fast. That is insane. I'm glad that pe people recommended this to me, because, like... I've never actually done this in vanilla. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That... <laughs> That is incredibly fast travel, and that gets us all the way to the fortress and to um, other parts of the world. Like, that's insane. And we still have so much of the packed ice left. We didn't use very much of it, and now we have an easy way to get to it. By the way, these guys are not fun. I don't know if you've seen these. These are called uh, spin-outs. Yeah. And if they, they hit you, they do a pretty good amount of damage. If he's going to hit me. Oh, he's not going to hit me. Okay, there he goes. Now I finally got hit. Um, but yeah, they can do a pretty good amount of damage. You gotta be careful around those guys. But yeah, guys, this has been a really cool episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, guys, let's take this off. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.